The fall from grace for movie mogul Harvey Weinstein keeps getting worse. Tuesday, A-list actresses Angelina Jolie and Gwyneth Paltrow told the New York Times they were sexually harassed by Weinstein in their early 20s. Now dozens of women have made similar allegations. I do not think that Harvey Weinstein understands or comprehends how much pain and suffering this brings to me and scores of other women. Screenwriter Lucette Geis says she was offered a movie deal by Weinstein during a terrifying private meeting. I could get a three picture deal and that he would green light my script, but I had to watch him masturbate. But the most damning allegations came in an article by the New Yorker magazine that quoted three women who said they were raped by Weinstein. His spokesperson today said, quote, any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. The magazine also played a 2015 undercover NYPD hotel hallway recording of Weinstein and Italian actress Ambra Batalan Gutierrez, who says he grabbed her chest. Yesterday you touched my breast. Please, I'm sorry, just come on, I'm used to that. Come on. Are you used to that? Yes, come in. No, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on, sit here. Sit here for a minute, please. The NYPD says it referred the case to the Manhattan DA's office for misdemeanor sex abuse prosecution. But DA Cy Vance Jr. declined to press charges, saying his office was not consulted before the undercover recording. Tweeting today, quote, while the recording is horrifying to listen to, what emerged from the audio was insufficient to prove a crime under New York law, which requires prosecutors to establish criminal intent. The NYPD says its experienced special victims unit handled the case using, quote, well-established investigative techniques. Something Pace University law professor Bennett Gershman, himself a former Manhattan prosecutor, backs up. You are listening to a, a sexual pervert ply his trade. It, it's so easy. And so for a prosecutor to say there's not proof of criminal intent, that's what the prosecutor Vance said. That's just so, so wrong. Well, tonight, Harvey Weinstein's wife told People magazine that his actions were, quote, unforgivable and that she is now leaving him. Democrats who accepted campaign donations from Weinstein in the past blasted him as well. Hillary Clinton saying she is shocked and appalled. President Obama saying he and his wife Michelle are disgusted by the reports. Dick.